Hello, this is Wille from Insomnium. Marco from Insomnium. We are at the Hellfest. And, and you are watching Metal Bunny. Hi guys, greetings from Metal Bunny. Thank you very much to be with us. No worries. Cheers. Uh, so you guys are playing several festivals uh, throughout the next month, so I guess that must be fun for you. I guess you're meeting old friends, new friends and stuff. Yeah, it's always great to see kind of people from other bands and then people working with them like record labels, something like that. It also means a lot of, a lot of hours sitting in the van and traveling at early, early morning calls and I'm flying, but it's all good fun. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Festival season started in Friday in Finland. Eh? It already already started well. Your phone is oh, ruined. <laughs> Maybe one or two beer too much. <laughs> so you guys arrived yesterday in Halifax, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so any band you're looking forward to see today? Have you seen yesterday any highlight? Black Sabbath, King Diamond, Megadeth, yeah. Slayer, yeah. lots of good bands. Yeah. Unfortunately, yesterday we arrived so late we couldn't make it to the festival area. So yeah. that's a shame. But we try to make up that to die, so catch up as many bands as possible. Okay. Uh, so your coming album, Winter Gates, uh, cover art just came out a few days ago. Uh, it really gave me goosebumps to looking at it. I think that will be your darkest album. I don't know. Yeah, well, I think there's a lot of dark elements. You, you maybe kind of a bit more even like black metal influences. So it is kind of dark, but you know, the story is quite dark, so you have to fit the music with the story. And um, I think there's there's still kind of calmer parts as well. And, um, I can say there's a lot of like 90s, old 90s, yeah, melody, black metal even involved. Yeah, definitely, it's, it goes back to the roots, and I'm like we were all really really influenced by Crimson by Edge of Sanity, Crimson uh, Neon. Crimson. The third and, 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 I heard in yeah, Friday. Yeah, so that, that's kind of like we always like this idea having long concept album, a long, long one, one epic long song. That, yeah, let's try to go for it. Yeah. So, surprise, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Surprisingly, the entire album is made of one song, which is something I've some never done before. Uh, Gorguts did the same in the recent EP and really kicked us. So what's uh, make you take this path? Well, I think it's like we... I think the first idea was to do something a bit, bit different and maybe like make an EP and then maybe make it last like 20 minutes or something like that. But we failed. But we failed and then, and then we happened to have lots more material and then we just started thinking actually it fits quite well together so let's make as long song as it feels to be I'd like not, not, not to stretch it too much but like if it flows the music flows nicely let's just go for it and, and I'll just go go with the flow and not really think about how long it would need to be and then just tell the story and then yeah and it definitely keeps the thing more interesting for the band itself to do something different and not to think about like usual song structures like chorus, solo, yeah. intro, outro stuff. Yes. Painting a bigger yeah. picture. Yeah, it's a bit, bit more challenging but a bit more interesting as well. And then do something different and not repeating the same album album formula. So I think it turned out quite good, better than we expected. <laughs> Surprisingly good. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. So since we have one full magnum opus coming soon. Uh, is there a device in part or in act or is there only gonna be like just one single song on the album or on a CD? I mean, yeah, it's gonna be just one track, yeah, and then that's it. That's it. <laughs> no radio potential. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cool. So, uh, Dan Swano is currently mixing it, and I listened to his um, Winterscape album, it's a real masterpiece, yeah. really. So, I think nobody. As him is perfect when talking about death metal song, really. So, how how is the mixing going, and how is to work with him? It's Dan was the nat natural choice for this, just because of this edge of sanity cream something. So it was spiritually okay to have him mixing, and I've been working with many albums with Dan's one before, 
other projects so it's always a lot of fun to work with the guy and he did a really good job and he's fast so only good things to say about that yeah so i think we just got a like last version today i just downloaded it at the hotel and i haven't had time to listen to it but, but it's like 99 percent ready so it's only really small stuff we're tweaking and just making sure that everything's fine I don't know. Well, for me it's the first time to play with Dan, uh, so I can't really compare how it's been before, but he's been doing a really good job, and, and, and at least I get the sensation that he also likes the album, and um, has the kind of enthusiasm to make it sound really good, and likes the idea of making it a longer progressive song, and um, he's quite worried by himself writing music, and, and uh, so I think it's a good match, good match. A lot of fun emails. Yes. Um, now, recently, boy singer Christina uh, Grimmie was shot dead in Orlando. Yeah. So that's another security treat. So, what's your take on that? Well, like bands touring and things like that. What do you? Oh, it is quite alarming that people do stuff like that. Uh, it kind of makes you think about: Are, are you going to be safe? When you're playing uh, shows and then just people kind of start targeting music events and it is it is it is a bit pretty alarming. Um, and I think probably we can blame the media and this kind of bit more kind of hostile right wing attitude, which seems to be kind of prevailing in Europe and the USA at the same time, and it kind of fuels up this extreme crazy people to do something like this um, and I, it is quite alarming but... but you cannot be afraid of that because most likely you can be killed when you are walking at home and car drives yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 you, you can't shit happens yeah shit way. happens and it's, it's really unfortunate and um, maybe something needs to be done with the gun laws in the USA and also with the security of big big gig places and um, yeah. so these things wouldn't happen again but I think it's gonna be a hard thing to do really but I think it's yeah as Marcus said I, I think it's important to not to give in for the fear and then to like people stop going for gigs and then to show that that doesn't really have that effect but yeah in your own world guys could you um, what the best thing about playing festivals for you this thing it's mainly like meeting your friends because it's like gathering of the bands and technicians so it's always a lot of fun in the big festivals backstage areas to see your friends all around the world and of course the gigs are good also and more people than in the clubs of course maybe club shows are like nicer to play you have a like more intimate gig and not so Maybe more more time to just kind of do the sound check and uh, prepare everything. And the festival is quite quite in and out. And uh, but uh, yeah, I think especially this one is like yeah. this is top notch. It's one of my favorite festivals yeah. in the world because yeah. it's huge, but everything is so well done here. Yeah, yeah. But I think like the social part is definitely the best one, and, and it's cool to play big shows for the big crowd as well for a change. Mm -hmm. And when everything works, it's really cool. So. Finally, uh, with Metal when you been based in India, um, do you have anything to say maybe to those Metal Maniacs over there? Well, it would be great to play in India someday. So, we, we got some offers every now and then, but we haven't been able to make it there yet. It's like because of schedules and time schedules and so on. But it would be great to visit India someday and then play, play, play a gig there as well. Someday it will happen. Definitely. Yeah. Guys, thank you very much for your time. Cool, thank you.